What's going on everyone this is the mac roberts back again with another nba 2k21 my player builder video and today we're going to be taking a look at the best steve novak build now steve novak's career started in milwaukee but not for the bucks instead in college where he played for the marquette eagles and played alongside some kid named dwayne wade you might have heard of him they only played together for a season though as dwayne wade entered the 2003 draft as a sophomore whereas steve novak actually played all four years and was drafted in 2006 for the houston rockets there he played alongside t mac and yao on those really good rockets teams before bouncing around a little bit and ending up on the new york knicks there he had the best part of his career where Walt Frazier would coolly make the call Nova Kane with the three. And uh, he played alongside Jeremy Lin, Melo, and was on that really good 2012-2013 Knicks team as well. And he even entered the three-point contest. He was a sniper. And after his Knicks tenure, he bounced around before ending his career in Milwaukee, this time for the Bucks. So without further ado, let's get into the build. Position is gonna be power forward, hand in this doesn't matter. Jersey number also doesn't matter, I just chose 16 because that's the number he wore when he was on the Knicks. For the pie chart, you're going to go with the all green pie chart. And for the physical profile, you're going to go with the balanced physical profile. Now for the attributes, you're going to bring your close shot up to the max, your driving layup up to the max, and your post hook up to the max. And that's going to give you four finishing badges. For shooting, you're going to max out your mid range shot max out your three-point shot max out your free throw and bring your post fit up to an 83 and that's going to give you 28 shooting badges for playmaking you're going to bring your pass accuracy up to a 58 your ball handling up to a 54 and your post moves up to the max 69 and that's going to give you six playmaking badges lastly for defense and rebounding you're going to max out your interior defense max out your perimeter defense Max out your lateral quickness, bring your steal up to a 50, bring your block up to a 50, and you're going to spend the rest on defensive rebounding. And that's going to give you three defensive rebounding badges. So four finishing, 28 shooting, six playmaking, and three defensive rebounding badges is a total of 41 badges. Body shape doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go with define. Height is either going to be 6'9 or 6'10. 6'10 is his actual height, but at 6'9, your shooting is better. Uh, either way, it doesn't really matter if you go with 6'9 or 6'10 for the weight, which would be 225 pounds, which is Novak's actual weight. And for the wingspan, if you went with 6'9, go with 82 inches. And if you went with 6'10, go with 83 inches. Both of them are just one above the minimum. If you went with 6'10, at 99 overall, you're going to have an 86 close shot, a 64 driving layup, an 83 post hook. And for your shooting stats, you're going to have a 92 mid-range shot, a 93 point shot, a 94 free throw, and an 87 post fade. For your playmaking, you're going to have a 60 pass accuracy, a 53 ball handle, and a 76 post moves. And for your defense and rebounding, you're going to have a 70 interior defense, a 63 perimeter defense, and lateral quickness. And you're going to have a 77 defensive rebound. Your physicals at 99 overall with the gym right badge are going to be 69 for speed, 67 for acceleration, and for vertical, and you're going to have a 66 strength. For the takeover, go with the sharp takeover. It doesn't make sense to go with the post score takeover. He wasn't really, he played in the post a little bit, but he was best known as a spot up shooter. And the build is complete, and you have built a stretch four, shades of Danilo Gallinari, Jason Tatum, and Dirk Nowitzki. Now for your badges, for your finishing badges, you're gonna put Pro Touch on silver and you're going to put Slithery Finisher on silver. For your shooting badges, you're gonna put Catch and Shoot on Hall of Fame, Corner Specialist on Hall of Fame, Dead Eye on Hall of Fame, Green Machine on Hall of Fame, Hot Zone Hunter on gold. You're going to put Steady Shooter on gold, Range Extender on gold, and Flexible Release on gold. For your playmaking badges, you're going to put post spin technician on gold and unpluckable on gold and for your three defense and rebounding badges you're going to put them all on pick dodger all right everyone this has been the best steve novak build make sure you like share subscribe hit that notification bell icon and join the penny face squad that'd be greatly appreciated it helps out the channel overall and you'll also be kept up with everything we do in the channel so you don't want to miss any of that 
Drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of the build. I'm taking requests, so if you have a build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll try to make that build for you. I'm making builds every single day for next gen. Uh, I'm not doing current gen so much anymore, but I'll do it for a quest. So if you have a current gen build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below as well. Just say, hey, I want this build for current gen, and I'll try to make that build up for you. Last but not least, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.